In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use Cronus. Cronus is a widget application, which means you have to add widgets to your home screen for it to work properly. However, Cronus has many other features as well, and I'll show you how some of these features work. I'm going to open it quickly from the Play Store. You'll notice that when you open up Cronus for the first time, you'll get help cards with helpful tips and hints on various features. You can dismiss these cards by just tapping on them. You'll also notice that there are currently no widgets configured. Cronus must have at least one widget added in order to be able to use the app itself to configure the widgets. You can, however, use several of the other features in Cronus. By clicking on the menu on the side, you will see that Cronus has notifications, quick settings, and if you have Android Wear installed, you can configure the Cronus Wear watch. Cronus Dream is the daydream screensaver that's part of Android. Pro users can configure Cronus Dream from the app as well. You'll notice the version of Cronus at the top and whether you have the pro or standard version. To get details on the versions of Cronus, click on the information icon and you can see the recent changes from there. You'll also find credits and the various legal notices. Cronus notifications will allow you to configure weather, calendar and task event notifications. The quick settings tile allows you to set up the quick settings. Quick settings are visible in the top of the Android uh, navigation drawer. You can add uh, settings from here. You'll notice the Cronus quick setting tile are shown. And by adding the weather widget to quick settings, currently it says no data. And that is because we have to enable it here, allow access to location services. And here you can set up all the various things for the quick settings tile. Notice you've got Cronus now. Let's add a widget to the home screen. You do this by going to the home screen and long pressing on the home screen to get to the widget picker. Here you can select all kinds of widgets to add and you'll notice the Cronus widgets are also listed. Cronus contains a large number of widgets, each one of them individually configurable. Calendar is a pro feature and gives you a month view, a week view or events view dedicated calendar widget. There are several Clock Plus widgets, Clock Plus Weather, Standard Clock Plus, Clock Plus Analog, the Clock Plus um, Dash or uh, using the Dash Clock uh, notifications and uh, extensions. Clock plus forecast, giving you full forecast information. This is a pro feature, as you can see from the blue ribbon. Cronus Flex and Flex Analog, which are widgets that allow for calendars, tasks, weather, etc. The forecast widget, which is uh, weather plus forecast, a pro only feature. The news widget, the pixel widget, the pixel 2 widget, a stocks viewer, which is a pro feature a task widget, and a standalone weather widget. We're going to do a Pixel 2 widget for this example. When you press and hold and then drag and drop the widget onto a home screen, the Cronus configuration screen shows up. Here you can configure the various components of a particular widget. You'll notice we are configuring the Pixel 2 widget at the top, and the widget has a clock and alarm section, a weather panel, a calendar event section, and then a general appearance section. In the clock and alarm section, you can decide whether you want to show a clock or not, week numbers, next alarm, battery percentage, etc. Where the world clocks are shown, you can select clock style and date abbreviation, size, and colors. You'll also notice a little eye icon at the bottom. This is the preview. Notice here the message that in order to see all the components of the widgets, some cases you'll have to resize it. 
You do that by pressing and holding on a widget and then dragging the controls to make it the appropriate size. Remember that you have to do this on your home screen as well because the preview resize only applies to the preview screen. Let's change some configurations. I'm going to start by showing a clock, showing a battery percentage, and showing some world clocks. I'm just picking two cities at random. I'm going to show the clock below the date. I want bolded hours. I want, I'll leave the clock size for now, but I'll change the color to be light orange. In the preview, you can already see some of these configuration changes applying to the widget. Now let's add some weather. In the weather panel, you have to select to display the weather. You can include the forecast information if you want. I'll show you that in a second. Pick the weather source. In my case, I'll uh, pick Yahoo. You can pick different icon sets. I'm going to pick a monochrome icon set. I want it in metric num units. And now you notice at the top of the widget, we're already starting to show the weather. To include the forecast, if I view the widgets, now I might have to resize it a little bit because I have the forecast information displayed. Let's look at some of the other features. You can enable event lookup by giving access to the calendar, picking the calendar you want to search events from, and specifying a look ahead time. This is the time that the widget will look forward in time to see if it can find and give you a countdown for any events. I'm going to pick a one hour look ahead. I don't care about high all day events or declined events. Nothing will show at this point because I don't have any active um, events in the look ahead window, but if something shows up, it will show in the widget. And lastly, let's give the widget a nice background. Um, I want a black background, but I want it partially transparent by using the slider at the bottom. Now remember I said earlier that you have to resize the widget on your home screen to look the same as in the preview. So let me do that. And there you go. The widget is configured on your home screen. Now what if I want to change the widget after I've configured it? You've got two ways of doing that. You can either go directly into the widget settings by using the three dot menu at the top. That takes you straight to the configuration. And let me just turn off the settings button just for the fun of it. You'll notice it's gone. Now if to get into the settings for the widget, I can use my second option, which is going to the Kronos app itself and selecting the Pixel 2 widget to configure. There you go. That's how you configure a widget once it's placed.